just a demo of how to get a function loaded into an Excel file, either a single file or you can also load it into your personal XLS file. It's hidden if you want this to be available to you globally. So I'm just going to put it into the local file. So to do that, you need to first save your file as macro enabled to have macros or functions. So you just do a save as and make sure the file type is macro enabled. So it's a copy of the original file. This, the extension will be different. So now I can put in my, uh, my function. To create a function, you have to have the developer ribbon available. If you don't, you can right click on any of the ribbon titles and go to customize your ribbon. And there's an option of, to toggle that you want to see the developer right here. So if, you, if it's not selected, just hit the little checkbox and then all the options will be loaded in your new ribbon called developer. So the developer ribbon, you have an option to record macros and so on. Like if I go into Visual Basic, it shows me what I have content of in my global personal file. I want in this person this file here called function test. So I want it in this workbook, but I need a module to put the code in. That's where your macro code will go. So if you don't have any macros, you won't have any modules. So I want to make a module. So I'll go insert a module. And then I want to paste my function there, it's my custom function. I'll grab it from my Word document here. Copy, Control C. And in my Visual Basic, I'm going to just paste. And that's the name of the function, strip accent. So I'm going to copy that function label so I don't have to type it. And I can then save this function. So I can either hit save and then exit it or just exit because this is on top of your Excel. So I'll exit that and now see if it, it's part of my file. So I'm going to just go equal strip accent open bracket this cell and it worked. It stripped away the accent. So I can then double click to copy this down and it strips away from all my data. So now that function is part of this file and save. So that's the strip accent function.